Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Red World Fan 4 Core, Hearts of Iron 4, in which we shall begin with election season. As the eight-year term of incumbent President Donald Rumsfeld comes to an end, the 2010 presidential election begins. Rumsfeld and his VP, Thomas Ridge, are expected to be renominated and secure eight more years in the office, but the Republican Party, the nation's only major political party, is not fully united behind him. Fears over a 16-year presidential term projected to be the longest in the history of the U.S. alongside backlash towards Rumsfeld's hawkish intervention in Yemen and general authoritarian policies. As turned off many traditional Republicans, many long for a return to the Bush era, but whether the president will be challenged remains to be seen. Let's hope we can keep the nomination, which we're doing glory, glory, hallelujah, which takes 105 days to do, which is really long, but behind every great nation, there must be a great military. With our military matter or military might in tatters, especially on the industrial stage, it's clear that the legacy of America as a peacekeeper to the world must be upheld. And the only way to do that shall be through the strong, independent, and uniquely American military. Jeb Bush announces the challenges. The unexpected has occurred once again. Donald Rumsfeld, while Bush challenging him for the seat of the president of the American Republic, although Rumsfeld defeated the charismatic George Bush Jr. in the 2002 Republican primaries. Jeb Bush is projected to have significant support for the many establishment figures that previously abandoned the Bush cult and his brother. In an address announcing his candidacy, Bush announced that trusted leadership for a strong America would soon arrive and replace a corrupt and inefficient Rumsfeld government. Daddy isn't here anymore. What happened to Daddy? Ah, oh, but please clap. Please clap. That is. That is a man. It's weird having these tank divisions. They're literally just, oh, just main battle tanks. That's it. And, and engineers. Chapel, the tablet, destroyed. No faction wins. Uh, there was a comment from another campaign I did in Red World here. Not Red, not Red Flag, but Red World. Does he have unique focus tree? They do. Lock her out. Snap elections. Um, I think I left off historical focuses, so we'll see what happens. Truly British military. Yeah, so we'll see, we'll see what happens. Dem democratic policies of people's government. And then we have let her in. Oh. Prominent officials endorsed Bush. They seem very happy. Except for that guy. He seems actually happy. Rumsfeld candidacy has faced a major blow today, as prominent officials in the national security community and armed forces have promoted the candidacy of Jeb Bush. His message for a strong America that focuses on reunifying the continent instead of intervening in foreign affairs has hit home with both the people and our general staff, unhappy with anarchy currently afflicting Yemen's pro-American policies and government. Tom Ridge, our own VP, has not committed on the shutdown or showdown between Bush and Rumsfeld. The administration is already looking for potential candidates to replace him at a convention. Quick, get Ridge off the ticket. As we are building up some civvies, um, we are building more guns, which we need more guns, tanks, all the good stuff, you know, all the very, very good stuff, you know, boy, it's quite a bit more chromium. Um, yeah. Modern internet? Yes, please. Why not? And after this focus, what are we going to do? Salute the soldiers, sailors, pilots, I'm not really sure, so, <clears throat> salute the soldiers. Since the beginning, the brave soldiers of America have fought for our nation and for our freedom. So I want to say thank you to those men and women. So the presidential elections, we're going to wait for them to get done. Because we can embrace the nationalist values, maybe. Conservative policy, so. Oh, Davis re-elected, huh? Tell us more. Rising you all, if you wonder about that, please go ahead. Primaries reach stalemate. Super Tuesday expected to decide the fate of the Rumsfeld government to hold over the party. Has neither given Jeb Bush nor the incumbent president of Rumsfeld the mandate needed to secure control of the convention. Rumsfeld took it significantly faltered compared to his performance in the election of 2002 in the primaries against George W. Bush. But contrary to popular expectation, he did not suffer defeat in many key states. Neither did Jeb, and both candidates did not begin to picture a deadlock convention. Oh well, so. National Sentiment, Freedom Act. Now, I have played, apparently, here as... Oh, Miami Attack. Um, David Duke. I think I did see that I did put him on a thumbnail, 30 and strength, and I did go down It Can Happen Here. That was a lot of fun. I like that campaign. It was a lot of fun. Oh, maybe I'll try to get some time. Go down with David Duke. Uh, I can't remember what we did. Remove Duke's party. Oh. Oh, that's who takes over. The Wizards party. Oh. Okay. Cool. But our intelligence agencies have been rejecting another radical leftist attack for years now, since the last major 2006 incident in Dallas. However, the government hasn't seen any strong evidence supporting such a theory and hence decided to brush it aside. It seemed that this was an astronomical mistake. Late last night, as thousands of people were beginning to return home, the Intercontinental Hotel exploded in an enormous ball of flames and debris. With people running for their lives and emergency services quick to reach the scene, a death toll already began to rise to over 50 innocent men, women, and children. Less than five minutes ago, the radical leftist group American Liberation claimed the responsibility for the attack. It claimed backed up by the CIA and FBI. We should have listened. 
methods of reunification. Uh, I think that'd be good to get the land doctrine going. To reunify the nation, we must think of new doctrines for the inevitable wars. Uh, ask, aim for the little man. The stronger, the better. Crewman campaigns okay. Special forces, heavy forces. Salute the sailor, sailors, sailors. Uh, assembly line. Not really much here. Just, just basic blueprint. Some XP. Salute the pilots. Yeah, nothing really special over here. Huh. Okay. Well, whatever. What you gonna do about it? Not much. Oh man, infrastructure. Oh, I can't say much legally, but our current system is very simple. The Independence Union has been nominated. Or nominated former governor of Alabama, Robert Bentley, as a presidential nominee in a bombastic but relatively predictable convention process. Bentley, one of the only promising non-Republican office holders in the Republic, he revitalized the libertarian conservative opposition against the Bush cult, and his anticipated vastly outperforming IUs previously presidential candidates. His VP is expected to, to be celebrity... C oh my gosh. Celebrity and personality. Omarosa Manigault Newman. Criticized by many as being an unqualified pick of pandering to an ideology of identity politics. Benley, however, is quite confident to take his ability to defeat the Bush or Rumsfeld uh, come election day. My apologies for all my mispronunciations. Holy crud. I am just slurring all over my words and just making a mess of myself. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. The far right claim responsibility. Well, at least it is. Do they have fun? That's what matters. As long as you have fun, that's all that matters. The National Renewal Party has once again nominated a, former, a ticket of a former Louisiana representative, David Duke, and uh, Pasha's Don Black. And expected to move, the convention was nonetheless filled with enthusiasm for the nominee who had suffered a charismatic defeat eight years earlier to D President Rumsfeld. With the tide of the country returning towards extremism and challenge to the incumbent president, national security officials have already begun to crunch the numbers on the price of a Duke presidency. A madman and even madder party? Sounds like fun to me. Salute the pilots, wars, or reunification. Mechanism is okay. Uh, I guess we can do aim for the little man. Oh, the army is really important here. Every American needs a good and updated gun, so when that war comes, we can protect what we have. Not a bad idea. Get some M4s. M4s would be very nice. So build them up. Build them up. We need so many millies. Do we okay in lighting, so? Statue erected. Testament to the love of our citizens half of the late President Bush Sr. A new statue just been erected in Atlanta. Placed across the road from the North National Capitol, the statue represents all that we've accomplished since 1987 and the great work the Republican Party has done, according to the designer at least. A crowd of patriots gathered around the statue this morning to pay their respects to the now deceased leader. Truly amazing and military warns of violence. Following a renewed enthusiasm for both reformist and extremist parties, General Mark Milley is warned of significant electoral violence similar to that of the election of 1860 that could occur come election day, most of all. It's just the need to heal the division within the Republican Party. If Bush and Rumsfeld form rival tickets, he remarks that Bentley or Duke could win the election, with the plurality supporting them, but an extremely vocal minority opposing them. Our advisors are certain such an election could destroy the Republic and the Republican Party. We'll have it under control. Who cares about the Republican Party? I'm here for a good time of the Republic. Oh, Donnie, Donnie, Donnie. Do we get another research slot? I hope we get another research slot. Maybe not. Okay, we don't get another research slot. God dang it. That sucks. We're stuck with three. <clears throat> so that's why getting all these blueprints, I guess, is a super board for now. So it's July. Um, armor, armor, a lot of armor. Weapons of reunification, I guess. Modern day war is mechanical, so we must try our best to get the best vehicles. As we have a cup or a sip of coffee that we do have here with us together. Ah, not bad. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. The UAB. National Republican Convention deadlock. Miley's warning seems to have been more accurate than even the most vocal naysayers in administration could have predicted. A weekend ticket of Donald Rumsfeld and master of the Senate Mitch McConnell, along with an insurgent ticket of Jeb Bush and Lindsey Graham, have completely deadlocked the convention after numerous rounds of voting. State delegations are now threatened to walk out of their preferred candidates not supported by prominent politicians who have yet cast their ballots, and anarchy for the party seems to be on the horizon. Vote Rumsfeld. <clears throat> well, we'll see what happens. If I don't vote, that means I'm sending a message, right? Bush delegates walk out. That's a nice picture of him. Wow. Numerous state delegations loaded Jeb Bush and just exited the convention. Allegedly, backroom deals saw Donald Rumsfeld secure a triumphant majority of votes in the nomination process. 
renewed voting occurring that day after the convention officially ended for a recess allowed Rumsfeld to walk away with the suspicious majority of delegates, something pro-Bush delegations could not tolerate. Attacking our government with claims of fraud and authoritarianism, it seems Bush and supporters will tarnish the legacy and legitimacy of the Republican convention. They can't handle losing? Mm, no, they can't. Nice. Oh, we do have... We actually have quite a few motorized here. It's pretty nice, actually. Uh, Rob convention uh, nominates Bush. The administration's utter horror, Jeb Bush has just been nominated by a separate Republican uh, National Convention held in Miami, Florida. Governing, law, governing officials loyal to Bush, the former governor of the state, have already begun a process to force Bush through the rounds of nomination. It seems that Jeb Bush and Lindsey Graham will be on the ballot come November 2010, with both of them in the Rumsfeld ticket bearing the name of the Republican Party. Illegitimate? All in for Jeb. This is a, this is a weird picture of, was that, Jeb and Lindsey Graham. Holy crap. Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is just... Oh. Anti-Republican violence. Following the chaos of the Republican National Convention, riots and protests have engulfed the nation. Although Mark Milley has attempted to calm the flames, supporters of Robert Bentley and David Duke have already begun to fight against the government and each other. Whether well, they can agree on however, is that the Republican National Conventions, both pro-Bush and both Rumsfeld ones, have both been farced and aimed at keeping an illegitimate government in power. Absolutely terrible. The stronger the better. Why now? America's always had good tanks. The stronger we can make them, the better. Very, very insightful descriptions. Love it. Now, when do we take out Texas? That's my question. Yeah, that's weird. They like, like no organization. Because they have no motorized. Uh, armor's pretty good, though. I do like the engineer. Engineering equipment. I love how big Germany is. It's so nice. India? Queen dissolves Parliament. Oh. All right. Yeah, you guys do have a unique focus tree. Kashmir resolution. Just kill each other. Protect the networks. Nice. So we're focusing on the land auction. Um, you know, let's go mobile war for this time because we do have tanks. So we'll see what happens. Uh, lights. Get some of this too. It is still 2010. So good. Doing that is pretty stupid, but whatever. Operating the Yemeni civil war. So at the beginning of this stupid civil war. What's it like? Because I don't know. How, how many how many Yemens can you have? You're national conservatives, new democrat, nationalists, and communists. I don't know. I'll, I'll play Yemen sometime. Not sure when, but my god, look at Libya. Oh, Jesus Christ. One, two, three, four, five. Waste of a war. That sounds about right. That sounds about right. So, let's have an election and see what happens. <clears throat> Oh, oh. I think it's but protests outside the White House. Although the White House has been officially occupied by the president for two decades, it still remains a popular location for protests against government policies and other issues that many Americans hold so dear. The other protests are based around an apparently rigged election for the presidency, with polls showing a substantial win for the Rumsfeld or Jeb Bush in November. Dissidents and supporters of the Independence Union claim that this is not a truly contested democratic contest uh, process. Even followed to the far right and liberals have left. Or the liberal left. Have you united under one common anti-Republican cause? How about you vote and you'll get what you want? How to get Omaha? The Omaha clique? Warren Buffett? Uh. Okay. Every time I play a campaign here, we always get someone different from the Midwest Union. How does Warren Buffett win? Recruitment campaign. Um, yeah. Oh, the Sikh military aid with the outbreak of the Second Yemeni Civil War. Ambassadors from the Al Isla government have today reached to our government in the hopes of once again receiving their support in the conflict. Allowing order to support the Yemeni government during the first civil war with their intervention leading to their victory, there are many who believe that we should accept the request and once again involve ourselves in the affairs of the Middle East, seeing that our abandonment of the Al Isla government would lead to further destabilization of Arabia and risk the return of the People's Democratic Republic of Yemen. However, so I widespread support for our involvement. Others have opposed the renewed intervention. Those opposed to our intervention have pointed out the fact that the initial intervention was authorized by President Rumsfeld in 2002 led to the continued stagnation of our economy due to the significant increase in military spending. What, what, with many not wishing to once again get involved in the conflict halfway around the world, President Donald Rumsfeld must now decide how much the Al Isla government's survival means to the Republic and whether we can accept its loss after spending five years working to secure survival. Hmm. Who? Is it you all? No. Ah. Sure. We can't send volunteers though. 
We're close. Am I making any divisions? Oh, we are. Infantry, armored, and motorized. Alright, so here we go. <clears throat> What's your way to a presidential election? For the first time in the history of the American Republic, non-Republican candidates are posing a legitimate threat to the President Rumsfeld. From the far-right advocates for segregation and rapid, violent unification in the U.S. is David Duke. Sounds like fun. From a group calling themselves the true successors to the old American Republicans is Robert Bentley, who has promised cooperation with the Midwestern neighbors in Texas. However, another candidate who has rapidly risen to the polls is our savior, Pre President Bush's son, Jeb Bush. His leadership in Florida has expanded the state's industry and living standards, and many are eager to have a Bush back in executive office. Can Rumsfeld maintain his position, or will he be swept away by a popular opponent? Uh, oh. If you go for a second term from Russell, you get Mitch McConnell. He is the master of the Senate, but it doesn't mean we, no one actually likes him. Who actually likes Mitch McConnell? The son of the great leader. We need a stronger president. More freedom and liberty. Actually, which one is David Duke part of? House of Washington, what the heck? People's Coalition, National Renewal. In, who's Independence? Union? Bentley. Stronger President? Ah, that's him. <clears throat> well, it's time to please clap, everybody. Please clap. Ah, uh, let's take a look here. Our nation is nearing a crossroads with a controversial presidential... Oh, oh, my goodness. My goodness. Oh, my God. Please stop lagging so hard. Come on. Uh, and our election with a controversial presidential election. Our enemy is growing stronger every single day. The state of America should be reassessed. Yeah, I don't care about the whole rebellion right now or what's going on down here. I really couldn't care less. We'll send you guns. Oh, and serious having problems. Yeah. Sort of compromise. Oh, Bashar. Very handsome. Do you have... I should have seen that coming. Yeah. Yeah, they do have a unique look. Street nice. That's a interesting flag. Hello. Who's Kuala? Dunia. Wow. Not bad. Stronger the better. Alright, Jeb. Jeb Dapp, embrace nationalist values. America can only truly be free under the guidance of nationalism and conservative ideals. The overt fascism of David Duke or the radical liberalism of the Democratic Party is certainly not what the country needs. A true conservative leader must guide our nation, not a weak will or autocrat. 2010 Congressional Elections. Well, the presidential elections have already been held. Elections for the American Republican Congress are to be held today. While minor parties have gained some popularity, especially in the poor regions of the Republic, the Republicans are expected to win big ones again. However, could a post-presidential election result be the turning point for an entirely new Congress? National Renewal gains power? Ooh! Oh, I don't know! Uh, there, isn't there a thing here, like, if you have, like, a gridlocked Congress versus the president you get some sort of other path or something like that i don't know the one thing i would like for i'd uh, like to see here is like you get like a path guide like they have in kaiser redux just because sometimes i can't tell which one to go which way is which um so we can't go that way so we have to go this way a new review the separation a christian nation liberty is paramount monitor the people and this one is also donald rumsfeld secular america mm, i'll go have him remain in power that's fine Nationalist policies. The re-election of a Republican president solidified our control over America's political system. We should capitalize on this advantage and push for new policies. Traditional values. Review the separation. Secular America. Drift of moderate socialism. Well, it's either him and Donald Rumsfeld. I can't remember what I did with the Donald Rumsfeld, though. This might have been a different focus tree. Maybe. Monitor the people. Liberty is paramount. Move National Security Agency. Death of Kim Jong Il. Oh, yeah. also here are the uh, focus we have. Standing firm. We also have flight of the executives, which is really bad. We have inter international stigma, which is not great, but still. Um, we need more world attention, which is not enough right now. Uh, ooh, artillery is nice. Hayden, yes. Research is okay. Lockheed. I mean, this is all pretty okay. Um, we don't get a benefit immediately, but I don't, I don't want to go with this guy just in case we go to war anytime soon. So, whatever. Uh, so working on that, which is nice. 2011. Hello, 2011. What an awkward year for me. When I was still in high school. Mine, I am getting old. I am getting old, old, old. Sanders appointed a committee. Alright, Sanders. Alright, then. Oh, this succeeds. Oh, they really did lose. Wow. Kamala Harris. Oh, we got Kamala Harris there. So which way are they going? Do we know? We probably don't know which way are they going. Yeah. Right wing values dominate. The election of a right-wing candidate in 2010, 
2010's presidential election, right-wing values and policies are once again dominating the political world of the American Republic. Leftism has been ignored by the state politicians, and this election has only been enforced in the belief of many of the Republic, who will forever be grounded in the late Bush's policies. If this trend continues, it would be possible that any true stark opposition to the administration could be wiped out within the next decade or even in the coming years. We see no problem with this. The industrial issue. Low company tax. High company tax. Ooh. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll probably go immediately with the Freedom Act. Your freedom is protected by, your, by our surveillance. A new bill known as the Freedom Act by the American public shall ensure the personal rights of Americans by monitoring pro, for pro-Soviet or pro-Commonwealth dissidents, spotting their authoritarian rhetoric. In this time of national turmoil, America must be protected from traitors and the industrial issue. Our economic situation is one of the poorest in the former U.S., as the South has never been a major center for industry and development. This issue must be solved as soon as possible if we are to overcome other grievances. Increased Republican support, public approval of both the President and the Republican Party has risen sharply in recent weeks, with the latest polls showing an outstanding result that hasn't been seen for years. However, many believe that this increased support won't stay forever unless the new administration establishes meaningful policies and finally sets its sights on American reunification in the near future. Senate, Texas Senate attacked. As Texas, Texan senators convened to discuss a pressing issue of the latest in the American election. Three bombs detonated throughout the chamber and one in the main hall. As senators ran terrified, emergency services scrambled to save what they can and who they could. As it suddenly became clear that there might be no one left, and as of now, authorities are indicating that no sitting senators survived the blast which has shaken the entire nation to the core. With the dust settling, one question remains, could the pro-remnant forces they've been hearing from for the past few months be the perpetrators of this grotesque attack? It's time to settle this. Uh... Que the Texan question. The tax on the Texan Senate by pro republic terrorists has once again raised the question Should we work towards absorbing Texas into the American Union or American Republic? Yes. Now, last time I played as David Duke for a little bit and stuff like that, uh, we want, we did go with State of Texas. No, State Solution. Yeah, we did go with State of Texas last time. Um, honestly, I don't see another way but to do that. I don't want to do the Republic of Texas. National Guard, pause. Move Texan Troubles. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I just want to annex them. Satellite Republic. The surge of Texan nationalism existing uh, since the collapse, it's clear that we must grant Texas significant autonomy. Uh, for this type of campaign, I don't think I want to do that. I think I'll just take them out. Uh, the 2011 super outbreak was the largest cause and one of the deadliest tornado outbreaks ever recorded, affecting southern, midwestern, and northeastern American states, and leaving catastrophic destruction in its wake. The effect of affected Alabama, Mississippi the most severely, but also produced destructive tornadoes in Arkansas, Georgia, Tennessee, and Virginia, and affected many other areas throughout the southern and eastern U.S. Widespread and destructive tornadoes occurred on each day of the outbreak, with April 27th being the most active day of the record, 218 tornadoes touching down that day from midnight to midnight. In total, 348 people were killed as a result of the outbreak, which includes 324 tornado-related deaths across six states, and an additional 24 fatalities caused by other thunderstorm-related events, such as straight line winds, hail, flash, flooding, and lighting. In Alabama alone, 238 tornadoes-related deaths were confirmed. Absolutely tragic. But yeah, no, we gotta have Texas with us. I don't understand why we would keep them as Republic. I mean, if we're playing like the Great Lakes Republic, then maybe, but like... As, if we have a nation, we have, we have a leader that doesn't want to reunify the country, like, directly, then maybe we'll, like, puppet Texas, but... Until that happens... Eh. I wish I wasn't... Oh. Oh. Look at that. States' rights. D.C. for Virginia. The American Alliance. Oh, maybe doing this might be... Hmm. Hmm. The state of Texas. The natural future for Texas is just as an integrated state of the Union, as it always has been. Just because its nationalism is flared up again does not mean it deserves any special treatment. In part, it's part of the 50 great states of America, and it will always remain so. Oh, you betcha. You betcha, you what the snappers. Hopefully we can just go in and do well with these guys. But, you never know. Um, you guys are fine. We did train the crap out of them, so... They should be okay. Put them on the tanks. We should do... Whether they're okay, the Texas question. The leaders in Texas and the Texas Senate, claimed by radical pro-republic groups, the times come for us as a nation to answer the Texan question. For that many years has encroached on America-Texas relations. Should our western neighbor become an integrated state or satellite state of the republic, or and will they accept? They refuse. Texas ambassador met with the president today outlining his government's response to an extremely generous offer. Apparently they have decided that becoming a state of the American Republic would not be beneficial to them or the Texas people, and hence they refused their offer. In addition, the Texan president called Ad Atlanta to declare that a new state of war now exists between our two nations due to a fascistic notions of a request. Tis so be it. We get Texan troubles. Cool. And we're going to do the Freedom Act, so. Gotta love it. Go in, boys. Cut them off from Houston. Straight down south. Uh, they have up to 12 divisions, which 
I will play Sinks someday. I'm not sure when, but someday. No guarantees when, but someday. I promise you that. Ah, uh, since we're here, Calip Calipiter Corporati Corporation's return, huh? Yeah, that was always pretty good to do. How many visions actually down here? Just two? Gaddafi. Well, that sounds kind of cool. We lo love Gaddafi. Six hundred days is a bit, a bit too much for me personally. Uh, let's get some radar. That's fine. Guys, I know you don't really have a lot of ores to go down there, but can you do that maybe? That'd be great. That'd be phenomenal. Come on, please take Houston. We've got plenty of army XP now. That's pretty nice. Houston will be ours, and Texas has fallen. Especially they don't like Southern Texas too. Mexican Texas? No, that's Southern Texas. Please. Please, game. Please. Alright, that's the case. We're going to come up to St. Louis. Maybe take, attack them next. That'd be kind of fun. Kind of nice. Yeah. Good times. Freedom Act and State of Texas. Yeah. We'll definitely do that one after the Freedom Act too. So I don't know which way we're going to go. Monitor the people. What would, was it, Donald Rumsfeld do? Hmm. Stock market instability. When the stock market opened a few hours ago, hopes were high for a relatively positive day. Almost immediately, however, shares for various corporations dropped significantly and rapidly, frightening investors across the nation. Who began to express lack of confidence in the new post-2010 election or 2010 government? Some have blamed this market instability on the administration, while the president himself claims that this was a deliberate sabotage orchestrated by radical groups in order to bring uncertainty to the economy. This can't be our problem, can it? Now, would Jeb Bush want to review the separation or a secular America? Because I'll do one and then I'll do the other one later. Review the separation. Hmm. Monitor the people. Liberty is paramount. Congress passes the Freedom Act. It was designed to make America safe for a nation with, no, with terrorists no longer able to hide from intelligence services. However, a large, ignorant portion of the populace has begun to protest Congress's passing of the act, labeling it as tyrannical and apparently in violation of their civil liberties. Apparently, you can't please everyone, even if you're securing a brighter future for them and their children. Good work, Congress, Texas Senate. Our belly as Texas Senate would be a detriment to our efforts in the state. We must decide what the structure of this legislative body shall be, unless less a national Texas Senate wrecks havoc upon the American Republic. Uh, structure the state after we get some of this stuff done. Very, very nice. Planes, yes, please. There are some within our administration that believe Texas should be divided in separate states, while well, it is assure us that keeping Texas united is a superior option. A Texas, with too many votes in the federal Senate, could be a major issue, especially if nationals take control of their seats. However, a centralized Texas, swayed to the side of our party, could have outweighed the benefits of dividing it. Not a bad idea. Cool. Keep building up some civvies, because we're going to need a big old industry when we're, we're headed. Uh, what are we doing with these guys? It's not bad. G boys. Famine? Texas Senate. Congress is now ferocious debating how much power the now defunct state of Texas should have if it's restored. Dissolve the Senate? Dissolve the Senate once and for all? Uh. They've become legislative bodies, fine. Uh, so now we have enough divisions for actually for these guys. We can send them a whole dude. You can have second American rifles. Um. So, wait, why do you have Henry Killer? Burwell, that's weird. You are a sub attacking. Hmm. Wait, why do you have a chance? Uh, that doesn't seem right. Planning speed's okay. Max planning, urban, armor, recovery rate's not bad. Troy with us. There you go. The flag. The debate on how the two flags of Texas and the Republic should be displayed it is a critical issue facing Texas today. Although Texas nationalism could be diminished by displaying the Lone Star flag above the Republic's, we could also take caution giving the new state of Texas too much power lest become president for all of our other states. Did I give you uh Oh, we get a four wow, fourteen, is that it? I can't imagine these guys having that many groups, so just give them some drones. Just drone in the Middle East, you know, just American things. Oh, cool. So now here we're at. Okay, we're gonna get a little bit of action here immediately. Nice. Led by Mark M Milley? Miley? Eh. Don't know how much I trust that guy. Uh, jungle rap, probably not. Skirmisher, combined arms, expert delegator. You're aggressive, so. Nice. 
Can you guys actually win here? It would be cool if we could. 11, we got that, 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 that. We need drones. It's fine. Structure of the state. Congress is not ferocious debating whether Texas should be admitted to the Republic as a one or divided group of states. Why would we divide Texas? No way. The flag. I would never divide Texas. State solution. Uh, it seems that you solved the. We have solved the issue of Texas integration. Texas shall be a state of the Union again, just as it had been for the decades before gaining new newfound independence. And the people of the Lone Star State shall live in peace under the banner of the American Republic. Very cool. Lockheed. Ship designer. We'll get some armor stuff too. Can't do early mobilization either, so that's fine. Uh, I can't quite cut him off. That sucks. Whatever. Hope you're learning something here, man. Oh, there's two divisions. That sucks. Yeah, I just hold them. There you go. Train. We're here to bomb the Middle Easterners. That's all we care about. Flag. Congress is not ferocious debating how the flags of America and Texas should be displayed in the state on the ground. Texas flag only for citizens. Our flag for all. Both flags. I mean, that makes the most sense. I probably did that last time too, but, you know, whatever. I want you to hold. You just support the attack. It's fine. Alright, so are we out of guns? We are. We need a little more artillery, so infantry equipment. Here. Take a spot of Artie. Do we have any anti air going? We do have some anti air. That's nice. There you go. Let's continue to support the attack. These guys seem to be doing better now. As long as they can win an Ib? Ib? Oh. Nice. We're probably going to get encircled here, but Ethiopian famine, you know, things happen. Don't go there. Because you don't have enough support to stay there. And then, um, rewrite textbooks. Recruitable population, consumer goods. Oh, that's not bad to do. A middle ground. So, you can do a middle ground, em minimize imports, adapt to centrist economic policy. Who's centrist? Hmm. David Nolan. Well, I don't want to be a centrist. Federal intervention. Social programs for laborers. Invite foreign executives. I don't know which way Jeb Bush would want to go. In Carolina. I'm going to say he's going to go with a low company tax. That sounds like maybe what he would do. Maybe he could do centrist and minimize ex imports, but... Let's do low company tax, maybe. Lowering taxes on uh, corporations is the way forward. With lower taxes, corporations can pursue economic profits without interference from the state, and the economy can achieve its full potential without regulations from any federal body. Could be, I don't know. I'm not sure. I really don't know how much of a corporate man Jeb Bush is, but whatever. Support companies, middle ground, that'd be nice, but support companies. Corporations need all the support they can get, and what better source of that support than the governments? Companies and corporations build old America, and with the collapse of the democratic welfare states of Europe, it's clear that the government must step away as the supreme economic body. Business is business, and business is booming. And apparently I did go mobile war for the last time I played as American Republic too, but whatever. Better fires or what God intended. Nice. Another tank division, huh? Which honestly, we need, so we need way more motorized APCs. We don't have nearly enough <laughs> APCs. God dang it. We need planes, period. So, that's almost 2012. So, we can do that one. Thank you very much. Come on, get in there. He's got level 3 attack, which is pretty good. Come on. I can't believe that they have that much more map left, right? Oh, they got plenty. They don't have enough guns. Nice. Don't attack there. You want to attack here, guys. This is the area you want to go to. Low company tax, poor companies, and then traditional values, rewrite stuff. Well, you know the good stuff. The AI is certainly special. Certainly special, man. Oh, we do have it here. Oh, integrate Texan territories. Oh, yeah. Oh, we don't have cores on them yet. That sucks. Hostile and restored. Nice. President announced a new economic plan. 
There was much speculation in Atlanta a few days ago concerning a vast uh, recent activity in both the Congress and the head of the state's residence. Today, however, most of what that speculation was shot down when President personally addressed the entire nation. In the address, he stated that he will push for a new economic plan in Congress, which will include lowering tax rates on the corporations. According to some analysts, this interesting move was done so in order to attract the executives who fled America in 18, 1987. Their flaws also brought great strain upon the Republic's economy, and it seems that the President is eager to bring them back. The real question, though, is, will a new economic plan do that? We certainly hope so. I want to get down here just so we can get to that thing gone. So promote investment. It's critical that a government promote investment both in the stock market and the economic sectors deserving of increased involvement from the federal government. Investing in failing industries will save jobs and keep unemployment low. At least that's the hope. I don't mind supporting the attack, but you got to make sure you win. And don't get me encircled, you pieces of garbage. Jesus Christ. Oh. Jesus. Better drones are nice. Um, it is 2012, so there you go. Very hot in the mountains here. Support companies would be very nice. My goodness, I hate this stupid civil war. This isn't just this is not a very good civil war, man. It's just so grindy. Yeah, I know that's what civil war is supposed to be, but is there really much we can do about it? Even with these guys, it's still not enough. And the AI is just letting not guarding the borders at all. Hmm. Foreign companies, promote foreign investments. And then invite foreign executives. It's not only time to restore the ingenuity and entrepreneurial advancement that once upon the U.S. of A. Although many doubt we'll ever achieve our old status again, it's a critical that we promote capitalism once more in the U.S. And we'll get rid of this one. So we get plus 0.5 political power. We get 20% more consumer goods and 35% more factory output, which is actually very, 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 very nice. Well, at least they're attacking me now. Cool. Uh, that's not a bad idea with them moving around like that. Then again, I, I want to come here, but we don't have any divisions to hold the line. There we go. Keep these guys in place. You might be able to do well here, maybe. We'll see. They might be able to do, do okay here, maybe. We'll see. We'll definitely see. Come on, come on. Good. Help out here too immediately. These guys are advancing, but we're advancing on this group too, so. Sanders become president elect. Well, good job, Sanders. Oh, come on, man. There's no point winning there if you just. Oh my god. Oh my god. The AI is so stupid. It's so incredibly stupid. How do we lose? Ah, oh, the Senate. How are they that equipped? What? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't know, man. This, this Civil War is it's certainly something. Uh, after this one, though. Establish new NSA? Might as well. The National Security Agency was unfortunately abolished decades ago, but perhaps a good return with even more powers. Were that nation beset by socialism and fascism? Both collectivist evils that have attempted to subvert our great nation for decades, it's clear that our people must be monitored by the government so that these ideologies should never hold relevance in Atlanta. I mean, they're not even holding the line. What's the point? Just come down here. Just just take a walk. Oh, you can't even take a walk now. That's stupid. You should be able to win there. Look how weak they are. You should be able to win here. I mean, at least he's learning, I guess. But still. Oh, nice. How? Well, so be it. 
So flip and beep. Um, work for the nation. Greediness and welfare has done little to advance the economy to prosperity. Work for the nation, not for the individual. New programs across America shall encourage full employment across the country so that the unemployed do not have to rely on welfare and state expenditures. America is the most required instead of a sap in the strength of the government. <clears throat> it's 2012. Not bad. Still working on that. Uh, recon? We're gonna need some logistics. Yeah. There goes Utah. <clears throat> I'll just get down there, please. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, doesn't matter. Get in there. Sanders, not gonna do the final cut. Oh! Well, I wasn't ready for this one. <laughs> so, uh, to the shock of many, the supposedly moderate Bernie Sanders has, during his inauguration speech, declared war against the American Republic. No word came from Atlanta until this past hour, them declaring their intention to resist to the bitter end. If anything is certain, is that this war will not be quick or bloodless. Well, shnikes. Well, I'm definitely cow with my pants down, aren't we? Um, oh, we can, wh what? Wait, we can go to total mobilization, but we can't do this stuff. That doesn't make any sense. That's a lot of people we don't have. HP though, huh? Mm. Well, that's a bunch of crap. That's a surprise attack on American soil. Don't worry about it. Well, that's, that's BS. Like, how are we supposed to know when that, that they're going to do that? What the heck? Good luck. Wow, we've lost a lot of territory already. Wowzers. I just want to hold the line, god dang it. National Security Agency established. The National Security Agency ceased to exist many years ago during the collapse of the U.S. Until now, there's never been a truly been a push for it to be established. Especially the lack of terrorist uh, plots within the Republic. However, recent events in Miami and the tumultuous election period has led the president to consider a new surveillance organization. This consideration was taken to Congress, where the government has now finally reestablished the National Security Agency, with even more powers than its predecessors of the same name. A necessary agency. Traditional values? I read our textbooks. Let's come to our attention. Now, the curriculum has still failed to enforce traditional Republican values. Many of the leaders in this country fear for our people that our people will embrace leftism and anti-Americanism due to the biased accounts of American history being taught in our schools. Instead, we must promote traditional American values in history and remember our glorious past. Can't really afford to lose too much more territory, man. Don't worry about attacking for now. Don't worry about attacking. Just hold. Just hold. Get some of that armor in there, too. We lost 9,000. I lost 26,000. That was pretty good. Provisional Congress. Huh. Dissolved. Just hold. Hold the flipping line if you possibly can. That's all I care about right now. Literally all I care about. Hold the line. Hold the line. Which we are holding the line for the most part. Which is pretty nice, actually. Surprise attack by god dang atheists and socialists. There's us. And Bernie Sanders. Oh, they're out of manpower. Nice. They have the 50 flipping divisions. We have like 29. Oh, god dang, we lost here, huh? They must be mobilizing more, I think. If you win here, you don't have to go into there. My god. The attacks are just relentless. With no manpower, how are they able to keep up with these attacks? Uh, do we have extra plans? Oh, you guys. How can you not win here? Hmm. Cut him down because we probably need way more guns, yeah. Three, three, three. We can start pushing them out, probably. There we go. 
This is ridiculous over here. We're getting back. South Carolina. Come hell or high water. Wilmington? Actually, that's North Carolina. I got that part of the Carolinas back. We're losing Kentucky, though, which sucks. We've lost, what, 50,000? 37, we've caught 161,000? Not enough, man. Not enough. Modern radar. Alright, 2012 still. Let's see. I forget to get that stuff. I, I do want some recon, though. Work for the nation. Rewrite them textbook arenas. Yes, please. We all want to attack. We can try the best. We can. Followed up with what? Secular America. Traditional values. Traditional Christian values should be protected by the federal government. With radical lefties around the world calling for the abolishment of the nuclear family and destruction of the traditional values, it's clear to Jeb Bush that we must take a stand against modern progressivism and support the values that originally made America great. Godless communists gotta die. You gonna die too, son? Vance, uh, get more attack. It's fine. My goodness. My, my, my goodness. Oh, be like, oh, do, you, do, do they do resistance? No, they don't? That's stupid. Oh, man, we're losing a lot of tanks, man. A lot of tankerinos. Mm, you should easily be able to win here. You should easily be able to win here with them attacking all like crazy and such. We're taking my home state back, god dang it. Oh, look, another division, nice. If anything, actually. Elastic defense is good. Mobile infantry. All the way, man. All the way. Uh, we have a little bit of artillery. A little bit of anti-air. You're just too weak to fight them right now. Wow, some of those things are literally here just to die. Holy crap. Alright, so since we're here anyways... How can we not go to early mobilization? I just don't understand. Well, that would really help out right now. Alright, offense. Def well, we gotta go offense if you get 10% compared to the other stuff. Alright. Let's see what you guys got here. If you could be... I have to be so speedy. The least, huh? So best you can to hold out. You're gonna die here, but whatever. We already confirmed that you're gonna die. Okay, you're not going to be able to go that direction. Come on, hold. Oh my god. Game, seriously. I'm, I'm clicking H and it's just like, nope. Alright. They want to attack? We can oblige them. Sitting in the tanks as well. Come to Fayetteville. Go, tanky boys. Go, go, go. New curriculum enforces Republican values. For far too long, the values of Christianity and true American conservatism have not been enshrined in our education system, with children of future generations be still being taught that there is any other alternative to the Republican Party. Finally, the President has signed an executive order alongside the Education Secretary, which will remake the curriculum from the ground up. This new curriculum shall enforce Republican values of a stronger America, and the Secretary, said the Secretary. However, opposition to this change has been great in more liberal areas, where activists state that this is the beginning of the cold personality around both the President and the party itself. Beat it, libs. You know, I'll leave this up to you guys. Should we do? Monitor the people. Versus, liberty is paramount. Should we do review the separation? Versus, secular America. What do you think Jeb Bush in this timeline would do? Let me know in the comments below, because now we're going to go with create new opportunities. Opportunity made America great. It's time to restore that spirit. The American people must have access to high-paying, important jobs for the security of the country that can be attained quickly and easily. Even for the poor, there must be outlets to work for America. And move up the corporate ladder. Hmm... I guess we could just go that way, I guess. Logistics, nice. At this point, just gonna grab this one. We need we need output.
Nice. Good. Keep pulling out. Even though we do be losing quite a few tanks and such, but whatever. Kill him off, kill him off, kill him off, kill him off. Nice, good. And you better hold that position, man. You best be holding it. Hold your butts. Even with a surprise attack, we're still doing okay. So, could be a lot worse, but still. Uh, Sheldon, you doing anything there, man? No? Alright, whatever. Alright, so that's a case. I want you guys. It's all except for you to go right there. That's it. Literally, that's it. No, you can't move. You literally cannot. You're not allowed to move. If I move these divisions, they're going to get attacked pretty harshly. We take this towel. These towel. This towel, huh? Don't let him move. Don't let him move. Don't let him move. Six divisions gotta die. Good. Don't let him move. Good. Six divisions go bye bye. Yes, yes, yes. Nice. Five hundred, half a million have died. Good. Bernie Sanders has got nothing on the American Republic. They might have had a good initial blitzkrieg tactic against us, but it ain't gonna hold out against the good old American Republic here. Not under the direction of Jeb Daddy Bush. Nice. Now we just be grinding them right now. Where's the swamp box? Makes sense for the South. Uh, for you guys, honestly, I would prefer armor. But it's not becoming an armored leader, so. Combine experts, yeah. Makes more sense. Oh my god, we need just so many things here. Traditional values, very good. Create new opportunities. Followed up with investing in infrastructure. American infrastructure is failing. While well, government should keep out of it, investment in corporations that provide road work and other services is critical to repair our criminal infrastructure network. Nice. Yeah, I mean, they're just attacking all willy nilly. They probably raised a conscription level by now, though, right? Yeah, they definitely did. Holy crap. They're out of guns and artillery. Kind of like us. Syria, huh? Nice. Honestly, if we do a general attack, we might just be able to win. Um, what have you two attacked here? We're, we're coming back for Kentucky. Please, I love me some Kentucky. Try to take it, you son of a rock sucker. Nice. Get back. Scallywags, get back. They just keep attacking like crazy. 700,000 ain't enough for them to die? That's fine with me. Get some more construction speed. Alright, so what are we at? We need way more guns. We need quite more of this, a lot more of this, quite a bit more of that. But then again, we don't have any things for tanks either, which sucks. We need rubber. We need all sorts of stuff, man. I that too. It's fine. Just, just so much green. Wait, how can you not win here? Oh, they sent in six divisions. Jesus Christ. It's fine. Just hold it for now. We lost how much? 116,000? Versus three quarters of a million? Not bad. I would like to attack here so we can circle and destroy those guys too, but. No guarantees. Invest in infra infrastructure? Sure, why not? Oh, Jebediah. Let's go back over here and do some of this, these focuses too. Heavy forces? If we don't have the best tanks, then we ain't trying hard enough. Pretty much, man. Pretty much. Did you guys actually win here? The Constitution of Italy? You get here. Alright. Then the tanks in. Now they're gone. Goodbye. Just go to where you need to go. Don't worry about that too much. Can we do a general attack? Three. Two. One ish. I'm just kind of waiting to see if they actually will like do a general attack against us. Alright, Confederation uh, explored. Get some of that there, Cap. Cap Reno's. If we can win here and destroy that one single division, that's still better than nothing. Nice. Good 
Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Cool. There you go. Goodbye. Alright, so I think at this point we might be able to do a general attack. Three, two, one. Let's go. Let the infantry lead. Force it. Force them to die. Oh, they legalized cannabis, huh? Alright, very cool. Heavy forces. Sound to push out. I do not have enough for world attention. After that, they will do the recruitment campaign. To reunify America, we must outmen our competition in the UAPR and the Commonwealth. And the Commonwealth. I don't know how we're not able to win here. Look, look how weak their divisions are. That's stupid. This is really stupid. How can you not win when they have no equipment? Literally nothing to fight with. This is so stupid. Well, that's dumb. That's extremely stupid. They weaken themselves to basically nothing, and they st we still can't win and beat them over there. I mean, come on. Seriously? You should be able to take this part of Indiana. You really should be able to. The other ones declared war, so why are they not attacking anymore? So dumb. Oh, you guys go right here immediately. There we go. Keep these guys in place. Work around them. Alexandria. That's so stupid. Come on, man. That is so stupid. But I think this episode's gone on long enough. And let's see. A couple more focuses. Recruitment campaign, of course. And then, special forces. Well, every soldier day, every day soldiers will go. We must have elites in the background so to do what we must can't. That makes no sense. But hey, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we will win the war against Bernie Sanders and reunite a lot of America. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.